Starting a stock up for the new month. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name's Nicole. Thanks so much for stopping by for another grocery haul, weekly grocery haul. So I went to a Whole Foods this week, and by the way, down below, I have a new Whole Foods Instagram account that's going to show you the unadvertised deals. As you're watching this video on Wednesday, go and check it out today because I should have all the unadvertised deals for the next two weeks over at Whole Foods and anything new and fresh that comes around, definitely go and follow over there. I'd love to reshare your posts of things that you find too, so definitely look down below. Brand spanking new and excited to bring it to you. So besides Whole Foods, I ran into Win dixie We haven't been there in a hot second. I stocked up on some proteins and we also got an Imperfect Foods order and a Walmart online grocery pickup and run-in. Oh my goodness. Trying to stock up for the new month and we will be doing Sam's Club next week as well, so make sure your notifications are clicked so you do not miss any grocery hauls here, guys. You don't wanna miss them. Let me bring you down to the counter and show you what we got from all of these places. First part of our grocery haul this week is Win dixie I haven't been there in a hot second. I'm so excited about the meat deals there. And then we went to Whole Foods. So at Whole Foods, we spent $50 uh, before tax, as you can see there. What did we get? We got the Whole Foods brand grain-free almond flour tortillas. Now these are a dupe to the Siete tortillas that I've been raving about. The reason why I've been buying the Siete versus these is because they've been on sale and a little bit cheaper than these. These are cheaper and in my opinion, they taste just like Siete. So if Siete is not on sale, I buy these. So there's 14 total carbs and two fiber for two tortillas. So they are really good. Look at the ingredients there, the same as Siete. So get these if you're looking for a good clean tortilla. They are a little bit higher carb than a lot of you guys are used to on keto guys, but I'm telling you, fit them in your macros and get a much cleaner version than getting like the mission and all that nasty garbage in your body. They had their blackberries on sale, the organic ones, so I was happy about that. So I picked up three of them for me and Trey. Got some of their organic parsley. It's always so beautiful and fresh. Love it so much. Also love their Whole Foods brand organic baby spinach. Only got the one $1.99 bag this week because I still have a bunch left over. If you watched last week's haul, that big one I bought, I have a bunch left over. So this should tide me over with that big one. I got some apples. I like to get organic apples when possible and their gala apples were on sale for a buck 99 a pound. So I picked up four of those for my carb up days. I got the Dave's Killer Bread. Remember last week I told you guys they were out of stock. They had them and they extended the sale until the second. So I picked up the Cinnamon Raisin Remix by Dave's Killer Bread Bagels for the boys. They absolutely love those and that was such a killer deal for those. Now this is a new product. This is not keto guys, but if you are doing cyclical keto or if you're just doing health, this is a really good item. This is the Lundberg Organic Whole Grain Rice Wild Rice Lightly Salted Rice Cakes basically. So the ingredients on this are just organic brown rice, organic wild rice, and sea salt. And as you can see, one cake is 70 calories, not even a gram of fat, one protein, but the carb counts high on there and you're getting the good nutrients from the wild rice. Really good product. So I got these for my cyclical keto days to maybe put some almond butter on there, some banana, and that way it's like not so heavy. I feel like I'm eating so much quantity on my carb up days with the good, healthy, clean carbs and it's like a tedious to get it all in. So I thought this would be a good way to up the carb count, but not feeling like a ton of food on my system. The happy waters are still on sale until the second. So y'all know I've been picking up two boxes just to put away because it's such a great deal and the kids love these. And we are gonna be camping for Mardi Gras here in Louisiana. We have Mardi Gras holiday. We're going camping again like we did last year. So these are great to go when we go on our camping trips too. Got some goat cheese crumbles. This is the Whole Foods brand. I love this one. It's six ounces. Ingredients are really clean and it is so delicious. If you have not tried goat cheese yet, I highly recommend it. I, it's my new obsession. Now I wanted some heavy cream, but they were sold out of the Whole Foods brand and that's the one that I like because it doesn't have carrageen or any gums in it at all. Now the, not the Organic Valley, but the Organic Horizon or whatever, it has guar gum in it. I don't remember it having guar gum in it before. Y'all comment down below. I think that's something new they just added but it bugs me when they do that. So I got the half and half because it's just cream and milk and that's it. Ideally, I would like to have the 
heavy cream, but it's pasture-raised, all the good stuff, and it was a good price, so I got that. I also picked up the boys. They love these Whole Foods organic mini sandwich peanut butter crackers. Always get these when we run out. That is like a staple, and that's much better than Ritz, if you're wondering. Also, these are a good uh, option for your kids, too. This is the Whole Foods organic vanilla animal cookies. Again, better than a lot of the uh, animal cookies that you can find at Walmart and stuff, so I always pick these up and Instead of getting the individual bags, I got this big one because it's a cheaper deal. So that's everything we got for Whole Foods for $50. I know it looks like not a lot for 50 bucks, but we did get some higher priced items thrown in there. At Winn-Dixie, Winn-Dixie, what you got going on, girl? We spent, let's see, about $33, $33 for this at Winn-Dixie, crazy. So let's talk about the meats first. So they always have like marked down meats if they're about to go out of date, which I freeze all my stuff anyway. So I picked up a bunch of the New York strips. I mean, how beautiful are these? So these two New York strips, guys, $7.98 is what I paid. If you go to like Texas Roadhouse in a restaurant, I mean, come on now, that is insane. So I'm gonna put those in the freezer. And then they had this pack of three for $9.11 and they just looked really pretty to me too. So I picked those up to go in the freezer. For Fridays is when I'm allotting beef in my life on Mediterranean Keto. You can do it more than one night, guys. It's just what I've restricted myself to for this keto cut and that's what I'm gonna be having some Fridays. Now they also had their boneless shoulder roast on sale for a buck 99 a pound. So with my account, I paid $7.82 for this thing. Are you kidding me? It was totally, uh, usually 30 bucks. So I'm actually going to cut this up into portions and we're going to use this as steaks as well. Instead of making like a big roast, since I can only eat this one night a week, I'm going to cut it up into steaks. Uh, that looks bomb. I'm happy about that. Got just a couple of bananas. You can see they're already kind of going brown, but I need them in the next couple of days. I'm going to pick up some more at uh, Walmart. You're going to see their berries were on sale for a buck 99. And this is the Louisiana grown strawberries so right here. So that was nice and they look really pretty. So I picked those up two ninety. I think I said $1.99. And y'all, saving the best for last, right? So I got the Southern Style Pimento Cheese. This is the Prices brand. I look for another brand. See, I told you guys I uh, don't stand for all that nonsense with the uh, Palmetto guy. And there was like so much drama in that last grocery haul with that. I was like, Lord, I'm getting this for my son. He has autism sensory until I can find something different. It was like a momentary thing. And people were like coming after me. Like I said all that crap. I mean, come on now. But this is the prices when we're going to see if he likes this one versus the Palmetto one since the Palmetto guy is a butt apparently. All right. So that's everything from Winn-Dixie and Whole Foods. Let me show you what we did with the online grocery pickup at Walmart. This Small Walmart online grocery pickup order. They were out of quite a few things. I'll show you what we got. So of course, every week we get the pound and a quarter of the White American Land O'Lakes cheese from the deli. This was almost $10, as you can see, for Trey's Keto Queso. I will always have that linked up above, and it's in my e-cookbook, guys, with over 70 recipes. I haven't hauled these in a while, the peeled apple slices. The boys really like these. They come in individual packs, so they're great for lunch boxes if your kids are going to school and not doing at-home e-learning, or even great for at-home just for portion control and already done to save mom and dad some time but these are great and they love them haven't gotten them in a while so threw those in my order i had four of the happy egg organic free range pasture raised y'all see pasture raised there i always say in stress that's what you want to get i had four in my order but they only had two in stock so i got two they've been sold out at this particular walmart but there is a walmart close to my gym that always has them in stock so i'm going to go in actually this week while i'm in town and pick up a few more and just stock up I am liking this happy egg one better than the Vital Farms. You heard me right. I feel like the yolks are even brighter. I feel like they taste richer. I don't know. I might be crazy. I do like the Vital Farms, but these are $4.68 a dozen versus Vital Farms. Killer deal over at Walmart. Definitely check. This is what you want to get. This is the only pasture-raised eggs that Walmart sells. If your store carries them, get the happy egg one. Hands down. So good. Got some bananas. Y'all saw me haul some other ones, and they have been eaten already. I'm glad that Walmart picked some green ones, so they will last a little bit longer. Trey loves seedless green grapes and we are totally out. So I got those really good price at Walmart, a buck 92 a pound. I got some raspberries for myself. I'm just on a raspberry kick doing all kinds of things with them. And they, all their berries were really cheap over at Walmart, not organic, but just make sure that you wash them really well, guys. We do what we do, right? We do the best we can. Got some Roma tomatoes for the hubby for his salads. I just sliced these and they are really cheap versus buying some other tomatoes like beef steak or on the vine. So this is a cheap and still healthy option for you for budget friendly. 
Got an English cucumber. I love that three pack from Sam's and I just finished it and they lasted four weeks. Can you believe it guys? The Sam produce lasts forever. I love it. Next week we will be going to Sam's so all my Sam's lovers out there, stay tuned and make sure your notifications are clicked because I'll have a grocery haul for y'all next week for Sam's Club. Got a three pack of the mixed bell peppers. We are gonna do a fajita night and I love chopping these in slices and putting them on the Blackstone. Again, Sam's is a better deal. You get six for basically the same price, but we're not going to Sam's just yet. One green bell pepper for the same fajita night and that is all the food we got at Walmart. I did get some non-food items. I know some of you might be cringing for my couponers that are still with me, but I got the Myers, Mrs. Myers dish soap. I love, this is my favorite dish soap. This is the only dish soap that I use. I was completely out and I have one of my couponing backups, which is like a palm olive and I hate using it honestly, but this is the rosemary scent. It smells so good. It smells like if you ever went to Aveda, the salon and they had their particular like Aveda shampoo and conditioner way back when, when I was in high school, it smells just like this. It smells so good. And Walmart has like every flavor at my store, every flavor, every scent, you know what I mean? And yes, after two years, we finally ran out of toothpaste when couponing. Can you believe it? Two years. We, we were lasted on a lot of things. I still have a lot of things left, but toothpaste we are totally out of. The hubby loves close up. That's what his family always used. And I, it did pain him for over two years to not have close up in his life because this never went on coupon. Um, so he's happy to have it back in his life and it's cheap anyway. It's like a buck 49. And then this is my favorite toothpaste that I did get couponing frequently, but it didn't come around all the time. This is the Colgate Max Fresh with the breath strips. This is the clean mint one. I like the green one versus the blue one. So good. And this was a great price. I compared it to Sam's. They don't carry this uh, flavor at my store. They carry the blue one. So if you like the blue one, it's a better deal at Sam's. But if you like the green one, this one's still not bad for a three pack over at Walmart. So for $50, that is everything we got at Walmart this week. I do have a really quick and small imperfect foods order that should be coming as well and uh naked boys always running Real in the back quick, i ran into my walmart by my gym since they had so much out of stock on my pickup so i was able to get some more happy eggs they were fully stocked at the one by my gym so instead of just getting um two to make four like i originally got i got uh four so i have six now but that's gonna stock me up because like i said these are always out of stock at all my walmart so i was happy to see them today 468 a dozen that's a good price for pasture raised organic eggs guys and like i said earlier i'm telling the difference between the vital farms i like these a little bit better they were also out of blueberries at my other walmart so i picked up these and these were such a great price under three dollars and I'm loving this Nature Right brand. They've been really good with all their berries, raspberries, blackberries as well. New item I got was the Chobani Greek yogurt. This is the non-fat plain one. Why did I get this versus a full fat yogurt? Well, first off, they were out of my Faye at this Walmart too. They were out of my pickup, so the Faye is in full demand. I'm gonna try to get it at Whole Foods this week. And by the way, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram for Whole Foods now. I have an account just for Whole Foods, for my Whole Foods peeps. It's called Whole Foods Wasted. I'll link it down below. I'm gonna have all the un unadvertised deals over there and new stuff, and it's gonna be really fun. But this is just non-fat yogurt, so it's zero fat fat, 80 calories, 14 grams of protein, and six carbs for this cup. So it's the same amount of carbs for the Faye, but this one actually has a little bit more of the pr probiotics in it than the Faye doesn't have. It's got one more in there. So like I've said before, just like with the YQ yogurt, I like to add nut butters and pumpkin seeds and stuff to get my fats, but just get this high protein source without the fat in it. So that's why I got these to try. Thomas DeLauer just did a video actually showcasing these and he said he really likes this yogurt. So I still like the Faye, don't get me wrong, it's my jam, but I'm gonna give these a shot. They didn't have it in the big tub or I would have gotten that one. They were sold out of a lot of yogurt. I guess everybody's on a yogurt kick. I did get the boys some Valentine stuff to bring to school. These were just a buck and these are little milk chocolate squares. I got three of the Avengers ones for Trey because I think he's got three boys in his class and his reduced numbers class for autism. And then Waylon would usually have a lot of kids in his class, but they're actually dislocated right now. It's a big, long story, but he's only got two kids at where he's at right now. So I got a Paw Patrol one and a Mickey for them. So instead of doing like actual Valentines, you can put their name and stuff on it here. And I thought that'd be really cute. And for a buck, it's kind of like Dollar Tree. You can't beat it. So this was $30 that I ran in since they were out of so much for Imperfect our Perfect Foods order was about $65. Let me show you what we got. I love this True Story deli meat. And this is the thick carved oven roasted chicken breast. 
The ingredients are just chicken, 2% of sea salt, organic onion powder, and organic pepper, zero carb, 15 protein, 80 calories, and two grams of fat. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. So clean, so good. It's hard to come by. I got that for all kinds of things for Mediterranean and even just keto, guys. I love this Cook's Venture pasture raised chicken. Y'all know I rave about it all the time. I love all the pasture raised chicken by Cook's Venture. It doesn't matter, just chicken breast, wings, whatever. It's so good. I'm always picking these up because we are flying through them and they are such great great price at imperfect and don't forget i have ten dollars off your first order always linked down below got some more mahi mahi these are the taco portions so they're a little bit thin it's probably the same exact ones that they've been sending but they were a little bit cheaper i think so i snagged them up I love this hope hummus. Y'all know from Whole Foods, I get it all the time. The avocado, the spicy avocado, but they also have the original over at Imperfect. And it is keto friendly, guys. As far as carbs, it's five total carbs, one fiber. So it's four net for two tablespoon. I know a lot of y'all might think that's a little bit high, but look at these ingredients, how stellar and how clean they are. If you are missing hummus in your life and your keto, this is keto friendly, guys. And the avocado one is even less net carbs. I got a pineapple for for my carb up day, just a, a, a Tropicana one. I like how this one's green, so that one should last me until Sunday because this is Tuesday when I'm filming. I have zero pork chops, and I think that these boneless center cut pork chops are gonna be great for cyclical keto days. So I went ahead and got three of them because they're always sold out on the website for me anyway, so I went ahead and snagged them while they were there. Now, something I did not order, because I know you're all like, what the heck is this? I did not order this, but they threw it in with my box. So usually I'm missing items. This time I got a free item, so I'll take it. So this is the croissant toast, super flaky, and it's made with real butter, no trans fat, fats, non-GMO. I mean, it looks delicious, but we know it's not going to have the best of the best ingredients. I mean, it's got sugar in it and all that good stuff. However, my boys are not keto. I try to do the best that I can for them, but I mean, this is not going to kill them, honestly. So I'm going to put that in the freezer and they can have that for sandwiches later since that was a freebie. Another thing I got for the boys was a bunch of Boom Chicka Pop. They also have Pirate's Booty for your kids as well. If you like Pirate's Booty yourself or if your kids like them, we also like the Skinny Pop as well, but this one's pretty good. Got two bags of the Boom Chicka Pop White Cheddar Popcorn, non-GMO, gluten-free, 60 calories per cup, whole grain. This isn't necessarily keto, guys, but this is, you know, better than Doritos, in my opinion, what my kids used to eat. And also got the Boom Chicka Pop Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn. I honestly got this for the hubby. He has been obsessed with the Skinny Pop Kettle Corn one. No, again, not keto-friendly. I mean, it's got, like, sugar in it, but for an, a, a snack, I would rather him have that than Reese's Cup. You know what I'm saying? We got to pick our battles with our family as best as we can and do better swaps, if that makes sense. It might not be the best of the best, but it's better than what they were doing, right? So 65 bucks at Imperfect Foods for this week's grocery that haul. Is this week's grocery haul. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these grocery hauls here on my channel. That helps me out so much and lets me know that you enjoy this on my channel. Y'all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful in showcasing clean, healthy foods and some ideas for your weekly meal plan. And until next week with a massive Sam's Club and other grocery store haul, we'll see you then. Have a great one. Bye y'all.